Hello everyone. Welcome back to Yoga Tech. In this particular video, I am going to talk about how exactly we can deploy the virtual PLC of Codices into the cloud. So when I'm talking about the cloud, which means that we will deploy a virtual machine and in that we will try to uh, deploy it. So let's uh, deep dive into it, how exactly uh, we will do. I'm not going to create here the virtual machine uh, that we can check uh, any other video, how exactly it is done. So uh, first we need to uh, do the SSH and connect to the virtual machine. So I'm using here the Google Cloud and where I have deployed the virtual machine. Okay, and then uh, using SSH command. So this is the command which I'm typing and then we need to put the IP address of uh, the VM and then it will ask us for the fingerprint option and then it will register into the host and then I am connected to the virtual machine. So this is the first step. So once I connected to the virtual machine, right now Codices virtual PLC is not supporting the SSH connection. Okay, so what we are trying to do here is to create a user into the virtual machine. Okay, so one of the prerequisite is to have the Docker. So uh, please install Docker into the virtual machine before doing these steps. Okay, so now we will uh, go to the root user. So you're in command called sudo su hyphen. So when now in, in the root user, what we will do is we will create a new user. Okay, so we will uh, put here the command for creating a new user, uh, which will be add uh, user and then give the uh, name of the user which you want to create. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, it will ask you some uh, questions so give the new password you give the password so you will not be able to see because that is how it works and then retype the password okay so once you retype the password if it matches, then password is created then it will ask for the some details to people you can keep this as empty also uh, it is all up to uh, you okay and then all information is created yes so now this root user is created now what is the next step is we will add this uh, user to the root as a root user okay so that's what the command i'm trying to do is sudo user board and yeah so now this particular jugar tech user is added as a root user now after that what we need to do is we need to go and edit the config file for the ssh okay so using nano command uh, with uh, the path of the file we will open it and then uh, we can go to the line where we have password required okay so there will be a line here uh, where it will say that authentication using password okay so let me go there yeah password authentication so if you see here we have here marked as a no this we will change it to yes and we will type yes and then we will save this particular file so once this particular file is saved okay now uh, the next step is to uh, restart the service of the SSH. So that service we will SSHD restart. So this is what we will do. So once we restarted it, okay. Now this user is there as a root user. It has the access to all the settings. Now I will go into the codices deploy, deploy control SL and type here the username, which is the username called Yogatech and uh, then the password whatever we have given and then we say to connect so it will take some time uh, and then it will get connected just mark that you should not be after connection you should not be getting any error into the message okay so if you see it is connected uh, it is showing connected and now here in the message it should be the zero error okay if you are getting error it means there is some issue and then after that we will be able to uh, install and those files so as it is a amd so the virtual machine which i am using is md1 so and so that uh, if you see the docker image is with the md also it is coming here and then we can put here all the configuration so we will create the uh, runtime so virtual will see those steps remain same and we will select virtual plc yeah what is this control virtual linux and uh, it will take some time to get create so 
it is created uh, same thing we will do for the gateway okay so we will select the gateway type and gateway name we will give so this gateway uh, can be added or cannot be added it is all up to you so if you want to add the gateway into the uh, virtual machine then it is needed if you don't want to add you can also connect from your laptop or from your system locally so using local gateway also that i will be showing it in, in the later part how exactly it can be done so that is going to be a tip for this video and how exactly we can utilize so we can create the project and then uh, we can be able to connect uh, to the download now those part anyhow one major thing into the virtual machine we need to allow the ports which we want to utilize it okay so inbound outbound we need to define the ports into the virtual machine that is one of the major step which we need to always take care because otherwise it will not allow us to connect okay because most of the time we are utilizing the ports so same thing uh, i'm just giving an example how exactly we need to we can go to the create a firewall rule and then we can create give the name and uh, then uh, we can select direction of traffic ingress or egress allow and uh, then a specific target tags or also we have different options okay so based on your requirement all in person network so all those things uh, we can select okay and then uh, we will go to the specific specified protocol and ports we will select the tcp and define which all the ports we want to allow okay so this way we can create the firewall rule and uh, after once we have created it then it will allow us to basically connect and uh, access all the services of the virtual plc so this is a main step one of the step which we need to always take care now uh, i will show you how exactly so uh, i will stop this gateway which is running there okay because i will utilize the local gateway which i it is on my uh, system so using the local gateway how exactly uh, we can connect so what it will uh, help us is that we it the gateway which is which we have deployed there will consume some resource guide right? so that resource we will uh, mark it as it will not get consumed so here we need to map the ports if you see 8080 ports for the web visualization i have added and then 11741 is mapped to the 11740 okay so uh, now if you see here we need to provide the ip of the virtual machine okay so whatever the ip you have got and colon and then the port number so port number which is on the uh, left hand side okay so 11741 to so which we have mapped so now if you see it is trying to connect but it will not connect right now uh, it why it didn't connect it is because if we go to the firewall rule this 11741 is not added into the plc ingress okay so it was the rule is not added in the rule so this port we need to add which port actually we need to add so 11741 okay so this particular port we will add it and once we will save this particular firewall rule then it will allow me to connect now let's go back to the codices so let me go there and now if i enter then we can see that it is able to connect okay so uh, now we can be able to deploy so i'm not using another port so if you see this is uh, the one which was running on the vm but i'm using the uh, gateway which is running on my local machine uh, okay so it is not so through this uh, we have to define the path so as i selected again let me so let me give the ip address one more time and colon 11741 okay so when i hit enter then yeah i'm connected now it is asking for username and password and then once it is done then it will fetch and it will allow you to now download so now after that we can download the project and then we can be able to run it so now if you see 8080 port i had put uh, and based on that this web visualization is coming and uh, we are able to go online so yeah in this particular way uh, we can be able to deploy the virtual plc also on the cloud machine and using uh, local uh, gateway itself we can be able to connect okay so i think uh, that's what i had for this particular video
Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.